Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we have a fascinating case to discuss that surely will intrigue all anesthesiology enthusiasts and professionals out there. This week we encountered a situation that raised crucial question, who really needs an ultrasound for an interscaling block? As many of you know, most anesthesiology trainees today have not seen, let alone performed, a nerve block without the guidance of an ultrasound. But what happens when you don't have the luxury? For the first case of the day, we had a patient scheduled for shoulder surgery. We prepped the patient for a single shot interscaling nerve block. The time was of essence, but all of our ultrasound machines were already in use. So we had to do something different to prevent delay in our operating room. So we opted for a nerve stimulator guided interscaling brachial plexus block. Now guiding one of our fellows who had never performed the block without an ultrasound, we embarked on a slightly nerve wracking journey. However, to fellow's surprise, in just 30 seconds, I guided the fellow to administer the block with 10 milliliters of 0.5% bupivacaine after obtaining a bicep switch at 0.5 milliamps. However, the tension during the performance of the interscaling nerve block with the stimulator was palpable. Will a nerve stimulator guided block without the visual aid of ultrasound be successful? And as is usually the case, like with a Murphy Law, just as we finished, an ultrasound machine was brought in. We took a quick look at the distribution of the local anesthetic, and what we found was surprising. So watch this video to the end to see the results for yourself. So what you want is those two fingers, you want them like this, like a claw. Now you're in a space. Let's just see the external jugular vein. So what we see, the anatomy wise is the sternal head of the sternocardiomastoid clavicular head of the sternocardiomastoid, external jugular vein, so just behind the clavicular head of the sternocardiomastoid, over the external jugular vein, is your space. And it's going to be as soon as you enter, you're going to start getting the twitch. Okay, so pull back, then you want to go slightly posterior now. There you go. Aspiration negative, and injection goes in. This is going to be done. That's good. Fine. Take it out, and take it out the sand now. Let's see what we've done. Nice. That's your local anesthetic spread, yeah? Okay, so you enter like this, you got a twitch. Okay, and a local anesthetic. It's only 5 cc, look at the spread. Nice. Fellows need to learn, huh? Now we turn to you with some thought-provoking questions. Did we violate the standard of care by not using ultrasound for this interscaling block? Would you consider doing a nerve stimulator block if an ultrasound machine was not available? In this era dominated by ultrasound, should nerve stimulator technique still be used or taught? Feel free to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned, until next time.